Hey guys, it's Garage Sailor Vaughn here. It is Saturday, December 8th, 2012, and behind me are all my finds for today, so let's check them out. This is a magic kit. Um, it's pretty cool because it is like a vintage magic kit, and it was like someone's personal magic kit. Um, I can't date it yet because I don't really know, but it's really cool, so let's, let's look and see what's in it notes for all these different card tricks and uh, there's a lot of the pages filled out pretty cool and then here you can see there are a bunch of decks of cards really cool I'm sure uh, there's some value worth of uh, just decks of cards in here we got I don't uh, I'm sure some of you guys uh, know more about vintage cards than me but uh, there's this one Fifth Avenue playing cards. Here's a Steamboat cards. Here's an old B one. Another Steamboat one. It's cool, they just feel old. Oh, this is cool. It's another Fifth Avenue. Steeled with a stamp. And it is in the plastic still. Uh, an aviator, models of all nations. It's really cool that they're sealed with that stamp. It's pretty awesome. And here's another uh, another one that opens like this. Kind of cool. Uh, actually, there's even more decks of cards. Here's a Cascade Schooner. And then here's one that doesn't have a deck. Box. Here's this one. They're just a bunch of cards. See, you can see their trick cards. They got pins and rubber bands and all kinds of stuff. Here's a really old looking aviator box. Here are a bunch more cards in there. This is like a little contraption or something with, made of pins and it's holding cards. Oops, I dropped a bunch. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I forgot if I mentioned it, but uh, I got everything. I got this whole box, the whole set for twenty dollars, which I figured is kind of expensive. But I figured, I mean, if I just find one like rare thing in there, then it'll definitely just pay for the whole box. Or I'm I'm not really sure because I didn't even research it yet. But um, I think it's possible that this whole set could together could be worth something, especially if I could like tie it to the person that had it and. If I could date it, that'd be cool. I'm sure there's a date on something in here. Here's a book of all the different magic tricks. And what I think is really cool is that it says the price. It says new, because I guess this book was new. And it said it's 2.5 cents. So I'm not sure exactly what that means or if that dates this or anything. But I don't think it's that old, but it could be. And here's another deck of cards, uh, Arden. I'm pretty sure there are some decks of cards that are worth quite a bit. Oh wow, there are a ton of decks of cards. That is so cool. Here's some Congress playing cards. A uh, really cool thing is I actually sold a double deck of Congress cards for like, I forgot. It's in one of my past videos, you guys might remember. Uh, it was like 20 to $30, something like that, just for a double deck of cards. It was in really, really good condition. These aren't, but um, still, Congress cards I know are good. The other ones I don't know just because I haven't researched them yet. Here's some bridge cards. Uh, oh, they're like falling apart. Um, so the lady I bought it from, she said uh, it was her uncle's, and that uh, they just had it, I guess, in the garage forever, so she decided to get rid of it. And I came early in the morning, so... Um, no one else had a chance to even look at it or anything. She was pretty firm on the price with 20 and I was like, uh, well, actually I left it and then I came back at the end. Here's another one that's pretty cool. Uh, it says 1896 Regimental on the side. Uh, and here's another one. Souvenir of California. This doesn't look like the kind of souvenir you get anymore. Another deck of cards. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, miniature dog playing cards. 
little box. And another deck of cards. Another. It's crazy, all of this stuff in here. Okay, I think we're finally done with all of the cards. I'm not very good at reading uh, this kind of cursive. Triple. Far. Not really sure. You guys can pause the video and read them if you want. Not really sure what he's talking about. Um, hand foam. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty cool though. Don't ask me what this stuff is because I really have no idea. But this is an old gold cigarette. And there's like a cigarette poking out of the top. And there's a button. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, and there's inside. Now oh, you can't really see in the video, but I don't know exactly what's in the inside. This is very weird. Oh, there's cork in it. I have no idea what the joke was supposed to be for that. Based on this card with this little drawing on it, I would say that this magician was probably a magician in Los Angeles, since this card seems pretty old and it's from Los Angeles, California. Uh, here's a contraption thing made for some um, kind of prank or something. And then there's this thing. It's like Tylenol or something. Some purple eyelash. So that might be the guy. Or it could be his friend's card or something. I don't really know. Here's some spirit gum. Yeah, this whole kit just has different things for many different types of uh, illusions and uh, making props. And This is like latex. So I think it's just rock hard in a cool bottle. Here's a fake flower thing on a spring. It's like a... It's like to pop up like that, except it's like broken and old now. It says there's slip knots, burning a dollar, inflated money, all the cheats right here on this old piece of paper. Very cool. There's more miscellaneous homemade contraptions. Here's a bag with something here and there's like a the golf ball inside. But these golf balls are like cracking. Actually, it's a fake golf ball. It's like soft. Wow. Very cool. And then here's another one. This one might have been sitting too long because it is completely flat. And then I have one more hard cap for the golf ball. Not sure. Some skin bracer. Here is a fake egg and a red something or other handkerchief or something coming out of the egg. And here's this. No idea what it is. Just the camera even focusing. If I stand here, the camera always focuses way better. Um, you guys ask me all the time what kind of camera I'm using, and this is a Canon XA10. And, uh, yeah, it's very, very nice camera. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, that's the reason my uh, videos have um, pretty decent quality. And then, I'm not sure what these are. You guys will probably know way better than me, but I have no idea. They're wooden. They're white. And these things, here's a giant one in my hand. Yeah, I'm not really sure what those are either. Here is a trick uh, page. It says multiplying cigars. And it says that it's a dollar at the top. I don't know if it was for this trick sheet or if it was for like probably the whole kit that let you make it uh, do the trick, I mean. The little thing uh, from Hollywood and cost 69 cents and it you put it on your face and it makes it look like you have a cut face I guess another one explaining the electric deck here's a fake like part of an egg or something and here is a fake metal finger and I have a whole box of these coins 
ride on federal tires. Federal. And on the back it says, at Flying A Dealers. Federal tires, Flying A Dealers. I'd have to look that up. I'm sure there's a lot of you that are like, oh, I know what that is, obviously. And here's just, the other ones are all like flat discs with nothing on them. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of them. Here's a coin that says 45. Another Flying A Dealers. This one says Colony Club, Los Angeles, California. 149th S. Western Cocktails. And then on the back, As You Like It. Huh. More discs. This one says 90. And then a bunch more of his discs. Um, this is a pen. And it looks like there's something coming out of the end. Not sure. Yeah, it's... Oh, it is opening. Uh, I'm sure this is a trick somehow. It's like a weird looking tip. It's coming out of the end. Maybe it's just a pen that just like died over age. Or maybe it's a trick. I don't really know. The next things are kind of cool. Uh, I believe this is part of a fake cigar. Uh, actually, yes, it is. I think, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this goes on this, and now it is a fake cigar. Um, very cool. It looks like it's like handcrafted. Very neat. Uh, it has all these holes right here, though. Not sure. And then you can see the tip. It's like fake-looking ashes made with like wire mesh um, and then here is another fake cigar it looks like wrapped cardboard and I believe maybe that tip goes in this one too maybe there, you could like switch them in and out or maybe I'm missing like half of this one I'm not really sure and there's this I have no idea Oh, there's a there's a cigarette in it. Huh, I don't know. Kind of cool. So, yeah, this is the whole lot of magic stuff. The box is now empty, but dirty. So, yeah, I paid twenty bucks for all this stuff, and I'm gonna have to literally look through and see what is valuable, or I'll just try to sell the whole lot. Um, uh, all together, so I'll definitely have to do more research, but I definitely wanted to share this with uh, all you guys. So please comment below and let me know um, if you guys noticed something that I didn't understand or I didn't know about, or uh, yeah, especially cards because there are a lot of cards here. But yeah, this is a very, very cool find. I couldn't pass up getting this even for $20. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.